Hey goalies, it's Kirk from Warrior Goalie. And in this video, I've got Carson and Aiden, and we're gonna talk about everything that's new in the M3 stick line. Starting with the paddle. You have a minimus paddle geometry. That makes this stick a low kick, a quick release goalie stick. So if you see these ridges right through here, this dimensional edge, that drives the flex down low towards the lower kick point of the stick. Makes it really easy to lift the puck off the ice. It's pretty challenging for a lot of goalies to lift the puck off the ice. You don't have a lot of room behind the net. You have a big glove on, you have a chest protector on. So this flex profile being a low kick quick release really helps to lift the puck off the ice. The other thing that you need to know is our ASG shaft. ASG, it stands for asymmetrical shaft geometry. So this was really a quest, this whole stick family, the M series, to determine and, and see what can a goalie stick become. You have uh, carbon and geometries and CAD work that you can do to really maximize the capabilities for a goalie stick with composites. So like I mentioned, we had this low kick with this quick release, it makes it easier, but we still wanted more. We wanted to make playing the puck easier for every goalie. And, and we focused next on the shaft. And in, in looking at a glove, when you take a trapper and you close it over a rectangle, those two shapes don't fit right? You have a V shape with your glove and then you have a squared shape with your shaft. So we started out by creating a shape that just fits the shape of your glove. So when you turn the glove over, it fits in there and now you have more control. Players, they have independent finger stalls so they can control the stick, the shaft. We don't get that. With a, we have a blocker palm up at the top, but it just hangs out with our knob. So it's going to have to really come down to the trapper and how you can get a secure hold over the shaft. The more secure your hold is of the shaft, the more leverage you have, the more accuracy, the control, um, and just more shooting capabilities you're really gonna have. So that was where we set out with this design and this shape. For me personally, I found uh, an immediate impact on how I was able to backhand with this stick because with a, a normal shaft, you have no leverage to pull with the trapper of your fingers to pull a backhand shot so you don't, you don't notice, but a lot of goalies, it's always to the forehand, always to the forehand. All of a sudden, if you're a goalie and you can use your backhand, like look out, your coach is gonna notice that and your defenseman will appreciate it too. So that's really where the ASG shaft started. What do you think about the shape? What do you think uh, so far? I think the ASG shaft looks really good. I like how we can be able to get a better grip on our stick and puck handle probably better and getting the puck up easier for making stretch passes if the other team's doing a quick line change, gotta get it to a guy. Yeah, I think it's definitely like a good good idea to do that and make it so you can hold it like that because then you can get some more power. And um, yeah, just like how it feels in my hand, I feel like I can get a good shot off with it. Yeah, so another thing that we found with this shape is this shape is more durable than a conventional rectangular shaft shape. So anywhere on a stick where you have a, a 90 degree corner, um, the edges of something, puck impacts, especially for goalies, they create these small cracks in the stick and then eventually you go to play the puck one day or you get another shot to the same spot in the shaft and then it snaps, right? So in a goaltending position, you have your blocker on, your blocker's covering mostly here. So if you're gonna get hit in the shaft, it's gonna be in this area because you're going for that blocker save, but you're maybe just not there in time and it, the puck happens to hit the shaft just past your blocker. So this rounded, this radius here is more durable because there is no 90 degree corner anymore for that small crack to happen where the carbon has to bend at 90 degrees and it makes it more durable by design. It's not because instead of certain number of layers of carbon, we put double the amount of layers of carbon or we have this new carbon. It's an intellectual thought of like how the stick should function, how impact protection really works for a goaltender. So making this area rounded makes the shaft way more durable. It's also going to give you a little bit better rebound predictability too because if, as I was saying, you're making that blocker save, you just missed, you're maybe turning your wrist, that puck's gonna hit here on this rounded edge. It's more like when a puck hits your forehead. It's always gonna deflect up, deflect away. If you have a 90 degree turn, sometimes you just miss it and it might hit the top of the shaft and go, where did that one go? Or it might hit the front face and you can feel that puck go towards the corner, almost like a, a backup blocker save. 
This ASG shaft allows everything that does hit the shaft to go in one direction so you're not left guessing in the crease. To keep going, really, it's, it's all about slide as well with the, the M3 stick. So we have our feature called slide grip. If you feel down here at the shoulder, we put a gloss texture through here so that you can really control the stick for rebound control and blocker hold when you're in your stance. You want to be able to hold the stick, but as soon as you need to let go, whether it's for a poke check or to stop a dump in, or maybe you've made a pass and you have to get back into your stance quickly, you don't want any gloss or any grip in the shaft because that will cause your blocker palm to skid, right? And if you get caught trying to get out to a puck quicker uh, than a forward or that's attacking and you, your blocker gets stuck, now that person, that skater is going to grab the puck, go around you, and you end up in the wrong type of highlight reel. So it's really important that you can execute a fast blocker transition, whether it be to the top of the stick or to the bottom. And as you're feeling it, you can probably tell too, the ASG shaft only helps with that. So having less contact, less surface friction throughout the midsection of the shaft as you're moving your blocker palm up or down the stick makes it so much faster. So that slide grip is a gloss texture here with grip, but then it transitions quickly to a matte finish accompanied with the ASG shaft, super, super fast. Carbon wise, we have a Minimus Carbon UD on both of these sticks. You guys are holding the RTL, which is a top price point stick. It's the highest end stick. It's the lightest stick in the M3 family. I'm holding right now the M3 Pro. They both have ASG shaft. They both have Minimus Carbon UD. Where the difference really is gonna come in construction is that this has a Minimus Carbon 12 paddle and blade, and you guys are holding a Minimus Carbon 25, so a lighter, bigger carbon weave, and then Sizing is super, super important to talk about at Warrior Goalie right now. We have changed our goalie stick paddle lengths starting with the M3 family. So if you have a V3 or anything older than that, it is considered our older sizing now. So I'm holding a 24 inch stick here. This would be really close to uh, an older Warrior 25. Uh, Carson, I think you're holding the 26 right there in the new paddle sizing, which would be a lot like a 27.5 in our older sticks. So this puts us at the same paddle length, same shoulder shapes as some of our competitors in the marketplace. Makes it much, much easier for goalies to try Warrior sticks, uh, switch out of other brands to our sticks, and to shop and online where you maybe can't see things and try things out in a store to know what size you're getting. Uh, so we're really excited for this new sizing. In the whole M3 family, we start with 26 inch, and at the M3 price point, uh, the third level of this stick family has all of those sizes, 26, five, four, three, two, one, zero uh, for 20. And um, so I'm really excited about that because goalies currently maybe don't feel like they have a stick from Warrior because of the sizing. Um, and this allows us to have new sizes we've never had before. Um, so yeah, uh, it's really important to to talk about that because paddle length is, I'm noticing, talking with goalies all over the world, shorter paddles are better. Um, you're not only gonna get a lighter stick with a shorter paddle, but it's gonna give you a better blade angle when you're in the butterfly. A lot of times goalies used to come to stores and maybe still do, and there's some validity to this, is getting in your stance and seeing where your blocker is when you're on your feet, right? But as a goaltender, how many saves would you say you make in a game, Aiden, where you're standing on your feet versus your butterfly? Would you say it's more butterfly or more stance? Probably more butterfly. More butterfly. Carson, if you have 50 shots, how many are you standing on your feet for? Maybe like two. It's important to pick a paddle length for your butterfly, not as much for your stance because when you're in the butterfly, you have to make sure your blade angle is proper and that you, you don't have too flat of a blade angle because your paddle length is too long and now you have pucks ramping up into your body. You wanna keep that upright blade angle so that when a puck hits it, it can deflect up and over the net, into the netting, over the glass, things like that. Um, and that will also give you a good blocker positioning too. A big paddle will start to open up more in here and make your wrist bend in different ways. Having that smaller paddle, shorter paddle, and the new sizes that we offer is gonna be great for a lot of goalies to get the size they really need to match their butterfly. So yeah, do you guys uh, have any questions about the M3 sticks? I think it's just a really nice looking stick and it's, I feel like I can do a lot more stuff that I can do 
yeah. uh, that I, on this stick than I can do with my other sticks. Yeah. This one's way better. What separates this from like other top of the line sticks? Like what makes this different from everything else? Yeah, the, the big takeaway message there of what makes this stick better is it makes playing goalie easier. It makes shooting the puck easier. Um, and it's more durable. I, we talked about the shaft. Everything that a goalie wants a shaft to do, they want it to be durable. They want to be able to slide their blocker quickly. They want to have a better hold with their glove on the shaft. It, this shaft, the ASG geometry, does everything better than a rectangle. So if you're using a stick with a rectangle here, this is better. Um, and then with the paddle geometry, that low kick, that quick release, being able to flex the stick so that the stick does the work for you. You know, you just want to be able to get out, stop the dump in, make the, pr the proper play to your teammate or getting it up to the glass quickly and getting back into the crease, right? So having this flex profile, that low kick, it, it's an advantage. It's outright, everything about this stick is an advantage for the goalie that uses it. That's everything you need to know about the new M3 stick family.